Attorneys for convicted murderer Patrick McDowell intend to challenge Florida's new death penalty law as McDowell awaits sentencing that could send him to death row. Back in March, McDowell pleaded guilty to shooting and killing a Nassau County deputy in 2021. He will be sentenced in September. Deputy Josh Moyers was conducting a routine traffic stop when he was shot twice. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker tells us what the defense plans to argue concerning the new death penalty law. They say the law is unconstitutional and part of the motion that they'll file will include how relevant the law is to this case. The state will pursue a death penalty for Patrick McDowell no matter how the law looks. McDowell admitted to killing Nassau County Deputy Joshua Moyers back in 2021. At that time, a jury had to be unanimous in sentencing a person to death, but that's changed. My plan is to file a motion to apply the old law rather than the new law. And McDowell's attorneys plan to fight it. They've been researching the new statute that now only requires an eight to four vote. They'll also file a motion saying the statute is unconstitutional. Meanwhile, the state says a challenge to the new law was already filed in the Seventh Circuit Court of Appeals and denied by the Fifth District Court of Appeals. It's the state's position and based upon prior case law and precedent from the Florida Supreme Court that it's procedural in nature and that um, we are to proceed forward with the new uh, process, which is A4. The judge acknowledged there is no certainty in what the outcome will be, but they also don't want to start the penalty phase and then have to do it all over again. Defense attorneys plan to file those motions by Friday or first thing on Monday. The hearing will be in July and the trial is still scheduled for September. In Jacksonville, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.